Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I sure hope you had an absolutely fabulous weekend and got everything you wanted to do done and or even just relax if you didn't even have any errands to do. I'll tell you what. Weekends go by around here just as fast as fast can be. And I had a lot of things that I wanted to get done on the weekend. Didn't get even half of them done as much as what I wanted to. But needless to say, the time went by really, really well. And we enjoyed it. Now, here we are, guys into October and they've already started the whole dog and pony show all over again. Of course, what I'm talking about is on the weekend, they averted the whole government shutdown and booted the can down the road for, you know, 45 more days. And then, you know, when you think about all this stuff that's going on and all the pork that they want to put into these, you know, debt bills and all this kind of stuff. I mean, really, it's just a, it, to me, it's just a political hack game that they're playing with one another. And the rest of us, you know, it's just, just watch and see what happens happens meanwhile they're toying with our lives and everything like that and just going on their merry way and i really don't think any of these politicians have our, our best interests at heart to be sure and one of the things that really kind of makes you upset is while they're doing all this kind of like gong show stuff over here you know on uh, up on the hill and stuff like that you know, there's a lot of us down here in the work-a-day world that are really just struggling along, struggling along. And these guys are just exasperating the problem. And it just, it's, and, and within punity, and they don't seem to really care, you know, that kind of thing. And no wonder you get a big flash, you know, song out there like, you know, Richmond, North of Richmond kind of thing, because that's exactly what's going on. These guys don't give two hoots about you and I or what the rank and file are feeling. Now, I read an article this morning that was just as eye-opening as possibly could be. And I was talking about how 99% of U.S. counties and 99% of U.S. counties' home ownership has practically become so un absolutely unaffordable for the average person. And when you're looking around at houses and things like that, and you're thinking on taking a mortgage, you know, they're going to have to bump these mortgages out to like, what, 35, 40 years for the average person to make it. And God forbid, if you're in a situation where, you know, you're having to, you know, move or sell or refinance right now it is obscene the rates that are being charged i thought i saw that like over what 8.1 some percent you know on a, on a 30 year fix that is crazy but of course that's what's out there right now and then you got this people that are in their homes right and are not going to be selling because who wants to sell an environment where you're maybe you locked in at like two, three, four percent, something like that. Who wants to be selling their house to move into another place or ha or whatever in order to, you know, just take on a new mortgage at like eight and some. It's not going to happen. And so you're going to see a lot of this stuff, you know, just kind of hit, you know, these peaks. And I do believe that we are going to see a housing correction in a big way. A lot of these properties are just going to drop like crazy because people can't qualify for the mortgage number one you know you get a flood of inventory out there you know and that type of thing and then of course you know there's a supply and demand issue and what 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 and obviously after that the whole thing's just going to come tumbling down and it's really going to have a huge humongous impact now something really wild so we have some friends that live down in Houston and, you know, they were up visiting and stuff like that. And they were talking about how just around the corner from their neighborhood, their entire neighborhoods of houses, not apartments, not, you know, townhouses, houses, you know, individual properties being built that are absolutely only to be rented out. Now, that is something else. I mean, you've got entire swaths thousands of homes being built with the only the possibility of renting them not buying them and i've you know maybe i don't know or i'm not clued in i you know you see apartment complexes go up of course you see you know all these you know townhouse complex and things like going up but entire neighborhoods of detached homes that are just for rent i don't think i've ever heard of that before anyway that seems to go right in line with their whole by 2030, you're going to own nothing and be happy kind of deal because all these big, big conglomerate corporations are going up there and they're just buying up all these swaths of property and land and houses and everything else and making it so that, hey, the average person, you know, obviously can't compete, number one, but number two, isn't going to be able to go out there and get a home of their own. And isn't that the American dream or wasn't that the American dream so that you could get your piece of the American pie and your white picket fence and the whole thing? The whole bunch of baloney has turned out to be an American nightmare. 
to be sure. And look at what's going on with interest rates. Man, I'll tell you what, with balances on credit cards and everything else that we're seeing and these interest rates just going wild, it is literally insane. And in fact, what we're watching right now is a lot of people are getting to those maximums, can't even make their minimum payments. And we're seeing insolvencies and bankruptcy applications just go through the total roof. Yet, meanwhile, you know, the government's out there quibbling over this and quibbling over that rather than taking care of the absolute people and stuff like that. It just really, to me, it makes my blood boil when I hear it because it is a total disconnect from the absolute reality of what of a lot of Americans, a lot of citizens around the world, and not just in the U.S. Look at over there in Germany and in the U.K. and all that's going on in Europe. It is truly obscene what these governments have really done to their people. And in my estimation, they all need to be get literally get booted right out of there and a whole new crowd put, put in there that are really going to turn things around for the benefit of the people that put them there. That's for sure. Boy, I'll tell you what. And it's hard to come out and be all kind of happy, hokey-dory with the way in which the economy is. And when I do these coffee chats, look, I try to bring out stuff that real people are really dealing with or living with and stuff like that. And I'd love to be able to come out here and say, wow, guys, look at all the great news. Da, 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 da. I'm telling you, almost every news story, you check them for yourself. Look at the titles of the news stories that come out. I mean, they are just abysmal. And the problem with that is this. You kind of put a narrative out there, constant like that and everything like that eventually what are they doing they're they're conditioning people to accept all of this malarkey and this when we don't really have to things can be turned around things can be changed and that's why i'm really encouraging folks all the time get out there get your voices heard and let people know what you think i'll tell you what hey I want to hear what you have to say. Drop your comments right down there in the comment section. If you're a person out there that's being impacted by the way in which this housing market is going, I'd really like to hear it because that is the best source of information that any of us get is people really that are going through it, that are experiencing it. Look, if you're just out there in the market and you're looking to buy your first home or you're moving or whatever, I really would like to hear your story and how it's gone down with respect to getting your financing in place and doing this and that. Because I'll tell you, it seems and feels so, so different to what a lot of us experienced. Hey, when we were young and just starting out, my first home, kid you not, $62,500. That's what my first house you know and that type of thing well now heck you can't even get a parking space for that kind of money it's just insane at the and that look at the difference and hey that's only what in the last 30 plus years that's not a whole lot of time guys i know it can feel like that but it's really not when you consider the grand scheme of things that you'd see prices go up like that literally over a thousand plus percent on purchasing the average home it's truly truly ridiculous i'll tell you anyway we got lots going on this week to be sure it's going to be interesting to watch all this unfold now october i'm pretty sure we're going to see some really interesting stuff this month and i'll tell you what i'm going to be keeping my ear right to the ground and if i hear anything that tweaks that we're going somewhere in any direction i'm going to be out here letting you know to be sure but i'll tell you guys it, you know you just got to have nerves of steel know where you're going and know what you hold and really stick to your plan. That is exactly what Judy and I are doing. And I sure hope you're doing the same thing and not buying in to all this FUD, not buying into all the narrative. You really charting your own course, doing what's right for you and your family to be sure. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. And until later on today, like always, we have an amazing video planned for you. And I sure hope you have a great one and take care.